did you look at the election as a buying opportunity or you want to be cashing out? I think that uh, Turkey right now can actually um, be a very interesting opportunity for investors. Right now, a lot of bad news has been priced in. And what remains to be seen is which direction the president takes this country to after the victory he has experienced yesterday. Um, even though Erdogan has gained additional powers, the market is going to severely constrain how he uses this power. Turkey has allowed to hike quite aggressively into the election period. Well, well, fair enough, but the markets needed that for some time. It hasn't gotten it. Uh, why do we think that President Erdogan after the policy? Well, Mehmet, from an equity side, uh, we've seen equities really sell off over in Turkey and in some measures uh, much, much worse valuation when it comes to global equities. Uh, do you want to buy on the dip here? We have been buying equities for some time because <clears throat> Turkish equities have been uh, depressed for the last uh, one year or so. And if you look at the 30-year history of Turkey, sure to get a positive one or two years following that. The market is dominated by the banks. The banks represent 30% uh, <clears throat> of the index. We are actually underweight the banks. The reason uh, the banks are the biggest uh, sector in our fund is because of the sheer size of the banking industry in the Turkish stock market. Um, it's fair to say that we are more overweight in beverages, in glasses, those sectors which are globally competitive. So, Shamila, does that square with what you understand about the Turkish marketplace? It's, it's interesting. He's actually saying that although it's 70 percent banks, that's actually underweighting. And where he is is more in beverages and glass. That's true. And, and that is the equity market and depending on where the valuations are over there. But I think in the fixed income market, it's, uh, it's fair to be neutral at this point in time because policy direction can go either way. Mm -hmm. And certainly this government has been very disappointing uh, with respect to its policy direction. But it has also pursued pretty prudent economic policies in the past. So really Really, which way Turkey goes is, is pretty binary at this stage. Well, well, let's talk about those prudent economic policies, Shamala, because my understanding just from reading what I've read on Bloomberg is uh, the president really wants to invest a lot of money in infrastructure, bridges and tunnels and all yeah. sorts of things, a lot of money, big fiscal stimulus. At the same time, he seems to truly believe that cutting interest rates will reduce inflation. Has he changed his mind? That's, that is exactly what investors are going to be looking at very carefully. Um, he doesn't hasn't indicated that he has changed his mind, but the market is going to severely constrain him because Turkish assets will be very severely punished if, in fact, he pursues the path that he has pursued in the, uh, the recent months. Mm -hmm. However, um, there have been indications from his policy team that there should be more structural reform going forward, that there will be a change in policies, and that's what the investors will be looking at very carefully over the next few weeks. The composition of the cabinet, the fiscal policy, and how independent the central bank is. Uh, Mehmet, when you're looking at that backdrop in a value versus growth equity world, where are you going to land? I think uh, over the next uh, few quarters, Turkey will have to slow down because uh, interest rates and inflation have risen and current account deficit is a bit out of control. So we are facing a slowing economy. I hope and I wish it's a soft uh, landing because um, if the uh, economy manages to soft land, then because the equities buy the expectations ahead of time, we can see the equities market, market bottoming out uh, here at these levels and then start climbing again. Hmm.